Okay, this is a <coughs> Samsung TV, uh, I guess uh, it was told it was plasma, that's uh, been interfering with the radio. I'm sitting maybe four feet in front of the radio, uh, in front of the television set, and uh, you can see I've got the uh, signal strength. We'll make it so it's just full scale. We'll adjust it. So there's full scale, and that's without my filter. The TV is on. Okay, now we're recording. Uh, the TV is physically on as far as uh, power applied to it, but uh, the TV is actually turned off as far as uh, requesting uh, a display on the TV. Okay, and this is the TV with no power applied. The power cord is unplugged from the wall. And then I'm going to install uh, the toroid choke. Uh, coil that I made and power the TV back up. Okay, I've turned the TV back on as far as uh, applying power to it, but uh, the TV is actually uh, turned off as far as um, the display. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn the display on. TV should come on, and you can hear a little bit of noise um, with the filter, uh, but it's no longer full scale. So we'll try a couple other filters and see if we get any better results. Okay, you could hear that signal as I swept through it. That's it right there. Now it's, we've tuned off frequency. We'll come back on frequency. There it is right there. That's just my uh, pennant pointed 160 degrees. Pennant pointed 40 degrees. 160 degrees. 40 degrees, about 6 dB difference in signal. 160 degrees, 40 degrees, and there's my 300 uh, degree pennant and signal disappears at that uh, direction. 40 degree pennant, 160 degree pennant. Unplug the TV, even though the TV wasn't on, it was plugged in, and you could see that there was a light still on the TV, meaning that smarts were still working. So that's um, 160 degrees, 40 degrees, 300 degrees. Okay, uh, we're going to show what the signal looks like now that we've installed the choke filter on the power line at the uh, neighbor's home. And the, the antenna is pointing uh, 160 degrees right now. That's 160 degrees. 40 degrees. And 300 degrees. So now the 340 degrees are identical in reading. The 160 degrees is higher, and that's typical. Uh, and I'm going to move off frequency here to see how much that signal drops down. Okay, now we're off frequency. We'll come back. And that's back to the frequency we've been recording the noise on. And if the noise is there, it's um, very hard to detect. 